Now, once you understand how you can get the data from the backend and destructure it inside these variables, let me show you how you can display this data inside this latest post section. So once you have your data as an array of object, you can display them inside this latest post section. To display it, you have to use this data variable. Inside this data variable, you have an array of object. So to iterate over this data, you have to call the map function of JavaScript. So instead of all these posts, you can just simply pass here an object like this and then pass data, the array of object and then specify here dot map. And inside this map, you specify value and index and then you call here a function or you can return this function with parenthesis, something like this. And then inside this, you have to call this post function. I'm going to call this function as a component. So to call this, I'm going to say here post and press tab. This will just create a component and call this a function right inside this map function. And then we pass here data. We pass data is equal to and in the parenthesis, we pass this value. Keep in mind inside this value, we have an object because inside this data, we have array of object. This map function is going to iterate over each object and inside this variable we have an object. We pass this object to this data variable and then we can access this data variable inside this post. Just for now, I'm going to specify value and as well as you also need to specify here a key. Now because we are iterating over this component, you need to specify unique key to this component. So we pass here index, something like this. Or you can specify the ID of this value as well. As you know, inside your data, you have data ID. You can specify that ID here as well. Inside this post, you can access this data variable using data property. So you need to call here an object and pass here data. And inside this data, you have an object. You can destructure this object right down here. So you can say here constant in the object, you can specify equal to sign and then specify here data. And to destructure all the values of this data in this object, you can specify ID, you can specify category, IMG, the image, then the published property and the author. You have all these properties inside your data. Now, if you want, you can do the same thing inside this parenthesis as well, but we'll look at that later. Just for now, to this data, instead of these hard-coded values, we can now specify these values. So what I'm going to do is instead of this source here, I can simply specify IMG, the data which we will have from the database. So I'm going to specify IMG and then I'm going to specify the default value for the slash. So if we don't have anything inside this IMG, I'm going to specify this default value here. Just out of that, I'm also going to specify this category published and this author. So right down here, this is the categories. So I'm going to just back to these categories right here get rid of this business and travel and here I'm going to specify an object and pass category and then I'm going to specify the default value unknown. Let me do the same thing for this data as well. So I'm going to pass here an object, pass here publish and then pass the default value which is unknown. So if we don't have any value inside these variables, this statement is going to print unknown as a hard coded value. Just out of that, to this title, we specify this title, this one. So we need to first import this title as well. So inside this section two, I'm going to specify here title like this. And then I'm going to get rid of this title right from here and then specify this title here inside this object like this and then pass default value title. Just out of that, I'm going to leave this paragraph as it is. If you want, you can specify this paragraph value from the post. So if you just open the post, here you have your subtitle. You can just specify this subtitle property to this paragraph. I'm going to leave this as it is because you get the idea. Just out of that, what we need to do is I only want to print this author when we have data inside this author variable. So instead of this author, I'm going to get rid of it, call here an object. And I'm going to say if we have author, and if we have value inside it, then and only then print this author. Otherwise, print nothing. Something like this. Now, let me save the changes. Now you can see you have all your images here. 
So your latest post is now fetching the data from the backend. But what if I reload this browser? You can see I'm going to get an error message. Data is undefined. This is because this statement is going to take some time to get the data from this feature function. So what we need to do is we need to use this is loading and is error if there is an error inside this component. So I'm going to get rid of this statement and instead of this console.log here we can say if is loading means if the data is loading then I'm going to return a division tag with loading message something like this and then if it is error if anything went wrong and you will get an error message I'm going to return a div with error message I'm going to just save the changes and reload the browser you can see I'm going to have my data so now when I reload the browser you're not going to get any error now just out of that instead of this loading and this is error you can specify your component here 